the title of tonight's show four weeks yeah ago. crap ton of photos <laughs> yeah all right let's start with this guy right here this is uh the new legendary beast studio wolverine um <clears throat> our good friend jay i was talking with him today uh, he's going to be on uh, a few different programs this weekend uh, so check out your other favorite YouTube video channels and uh, some he'll be appearing on a few of those uh, He's also going to be doing a video for our channel uh, Featuring a, a convention that's coming up as well with all these on display. So stay tuned for that um, But uh, what do you guys what do you guys think about the original or the initial uh, tease of Wolverine here? This is gonna be a one-third scale. I Like it a lot. Yeah, yeah it looks great, great. I'm a little worried about the base because I remember when he showed us the 3D print of this and the, the entire base is all, I believe, sculpted. It's all like little, you know, delicate, fragile pieces. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what was on what was on the base. Oh, this. Yeah, I'm oh, pretty wow. sure that's all sculpted, if I'm not mistaken. All, all those plants are sculpted? It was Where's when he showed the 3D print. Yeah, it was all grayscale. Wow. Yikes. Surely not. Unless they changed it, I, I don't know. Do you guys you don't remember that when he showed us the three D print of? I mean, they the, might have done that, but I, I I would imagine this will be kind of that like that rubbery plant, you know, that stuff like Dan's bike is. Yeah, yeah, and the, and the print, all of all of that was all sculpted. So I don't Here's know. Just need nightmares of uh, samurai samurai Harley with the yeah. plants. Yeah, all, all of mine are broke. Yeah, those things. Half of mine are. Matter of fact, I've got her here next to me. I don't even display those pieces. I haven't put them yeah. away. Yeah, it's just they're just awful. Yeah, um, but I, yeah, I think he looks really great. There was some conversation about the length of the blades that they were going to tweak that. Yeah, they're going to shorten them up a little bit. Yeah, some people were really mad about that. Um, but yeah, I think the sculpt looks really great. I love the portrait. There's four. Wow, that's awesome! Four portraits. Yeah, that's going to look. Cool. I mean, that's going to go over real well. I think there. This is another one. Wow. Wow, and it's like cool. the, the bone claws. That's yeah. really cool. Oh, and I like the fur on his arms and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, I think this will do real well for them. It's going to um, be a big piece. I, I was talking to Jay earlier and I, uh, you know, just about uh, some of the pieces that he's working on. And uh, again, I'm just very, very excited. And seeing something like this again makes me really excited for the DC pieces, obviously. Me too. <clears throat> yeah stay tuned guys stay tuned uh, uh you know obviously batman should be coming uh he did say that they have printed and are painting wonder woman so uh, again we should see some more from L uh, lbs here real soon guys i want to see that wonder woman i'll paint yeah it. me, me yeah, too Jeff, did you buy your hulk through spec i did um this is the first we're getting kind of a teaser of batman uh, all painted up what do you uh, think of the initial paint, guys? Looks good. I'm looking forward to better pictures this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to see it in better photos or better, like, in person. <laughs> I want, uh, well, I this want got high some, quality photos. Video yeah, is, is usually not great. And this has uh, got a weird filter on it, too. It yeah. does. It looks washed out and grainy or something. Yep. I I'm not, the kids dress the shit out of me. I'm yeah. not a huge fan of when like painters paint Batman very like uh, where they make every single shadow line and stuff kind of makes it look a little weird to me. Kind of like what like Prime One did with the uh, detective where it's they let the natural light you know create the shadows. Create the shadows yeah. <laughs> sure to see more pictures of this. Sometimes it looks like too overbrushed. Yeah, yeah. Like, it makes everything a little bit too pronounced on Batman. Oh. Yeah. So uh, Eric provided these uh, that Jay um, shared. Uh, I'm assuming this is on. Instagram or TikTok, I'm not sure. Uh, it was his uh, fa Facebook stories. So. Oh, Facebook stories. So this is the base, and he did talk to us when we had him on the show. But you can you can take off the parts of the base too, so you don't have to have all the stalactites mm -hmm. uh, if you don't want to. It could just be a flat, you know, regular base as well. Yeah, that's. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know if the this this base will be more expensive. I would assume. But and I, f I forget whose idea it was. I don't know if it was Chris or somebody in the chat. Remember, we were saying like you should make it like so the whole thing can rotate, so you could see like every character on the the sub base. That would be. And awesome. the fact that that piece already comes off, I don't know if it would hit the top of Man Bat's head or not, but you could almost probably make it rotate somehow. Well, I mean, surely it could because or, the, yeah, maybe the, the hair. Up and, yeah, I'm assuming that that head of his keys in. 
Mm. Maybe not yeah, spin probably. it, but I wonder if you can manually like pick it up and you know position it in another way. Yeah, it could be. I mean, it look it, to me, it looks like the whole thing could rotate, but I don't know. We can ask Jay, but anyway, it's it's great to know that you can buy either version. That's pretty great. <clears throat> I think this picture right here looks really good. This is J and D's uh, first ever six scale, um, which is crazy. Um, what they're doing, they're doing like these magnetic eyes. They're doing all this different stuff, and I I've heard that these are going to be quite pricey, but I think that looks way better than their original Joker. What do you guys think? Agree. Yeah. Um, again, we haven't seen a full reveal. This is just kind of a teaser. But again, these are going to be six scale with silicone, glass eyes. Um, I think the, the costume looks really good. But I mean, just even that right there looks more like Ledger Joker to me. It does. I agree. <laughs> so, so I think that they took all of that that feedback uh, from that first Joker, which you know some people swore it looked just like him, and I still don't see it. Um, but I think this does. And that I'm really excited for collectors because I think that they finally got this right. Um, and then also articulated fingers. These things, this pit, those look unbelievable. <clears throat> yeah. So you can bend them. That's so cool. that's pretty crazy. So, I mean, I think Jay and I mean, it, it seems like company after company, whether it's hot toys, then going to in art and now in art going to J and D, it feels like every company continues to up each other. Um, which only benefits the collectors, uh, but it also hurts their wallets because the prices continue to go up as well. Yeah, I feel but, like that that's been one of the like the main comments in the groups. It's like, well, well J and D pieces are already very expensive. So now now that they have these like skeletal, you know, insides that can, you know, move and are articulate, like how much is that gonna drive up the cost of the statue now? A lot. So it's you're have you have to make a choice. One uh one six collectibles <laughs> in the uh chat says seven hundred for the basic package. What 700 for a six scale is that a guess or is that somebody who knows the price on these what was his name one sixth collectibles <laughs> what a great name I know, right? <laughs> if, if he does not have a youtube channel he needs to go make one right now <laughs> one six collectibles <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious i love it so anyway we'll see uh let us know in the chat dan i can't see the chat so if you if you keep me posted yeah yeah uh, we're to the part now where uh, where we were sharing the the images of Kitty Raj uh, again of his great new Batman versus Joker diorama. Congratulations again to him. Uh, whoops, <clears throat> I had this out of order. Well, we'll skip it. Uh, this is the new Robert Pattinson Batman. What do you think, guys? It, first, I'm really happy to see that it's in a collector's hands because that means it's coming soon. Yep, coming soon. That's the uh, one where he's uh, standing on the Batmobile, right? No, no. No, oh, no. This is this oh, is the Prime One Studio piece. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. the that Queen that had him on the Batmobile. Uh, I'll see more photos here in a second because I obviously got some of these. I added them out of order, I think. But uh, I think he looks really good. Looks I awesome. Do too. Looks awesome. This is, this is the base, Eric. Okay, I forgot what their base was. What is the base? It's just like a just round. Okay. Like techie. Yeah. Um, yeah. but when Jeff and I got to see him in San Diego, and just we both loved him. He looked really good in San Diego. I had him on pre-order for a while, but I ended up canceling him because it was taking so long. Somebody posted in the group. They saw this photo and they said he looks derpy. I don't think he looks derpy. No, I don't think so either. It's just the angle. That picture is really washed out too. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think it's, this doesn't look as good as it did in San Diego to me. But I don't think I think it's just a bad photo. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. I, it does look bad in that photo, but yeah. Um. Again, I feel like the same thing with these. Like they're a little bit washed out. Yeah. Yep. And the the lens. The, yeah, these are not. Those yeah, are it looks not. like the eyes are spread apart. Could be like a, yeah. a wide lens or something. Yeah, yep. something's not right with it. So I, I wouldn't worry, guys, because again, having just got this blitz way in uh, with Michelle Pfeiffer, I, I have no no doubt this is going to be awesome. Yeah. You know, it's one of the Chris. What you just said that was one of the first thoughts I had. When I watched your review of Catwoman, I thought, oh, this just bodes well for the Batman statue. Yeah, no doubt. It's on their game. Yeah, I have no no hesitation for Blitzway right now. Yeah. This one looks awesome, too. Oh, my God. I think this, I mean, I, again, I was telling you guys, like, I don't have a connection to John Constantine, but this statue is freaking amazing. Yes, yeah. it is. Can't Thank wait. You. 
I know. I say I'm so excited. And I know it, it pissed a lot of people off that Prime One canceled the third scale. Yep. I, I really think that if they had done the full statue like this, that I think that they would have maybe sold a few more. I wonder how it would have been priced. It would have been a shit ton. Yeah. But at the same time, I think, you know, if you give collectors that choice, like, you know, because they're saying it's too big. Well, this isn't as big as that Batman versus Joker diorama. No, it's not. So you can't you can't say that. They're just worried about not selling enough. And and I get that. But I mean, look how cool this is. Yeah. And the addition size is crazy small. It's only 150 for what you see here. And without the the death, the, the wing to death figure, there are only 20 of the regular. 20. You're 20. kidding. Why are they even making it? <laughs> so, so 170 total. Wow. wow. I, I I feel like if this was out, like, I mean, I feel like for next year, it could be like a statue of the year contender for me. Cause I, I just think it's that good. It's yeah. awesome. There's like, there's at least three portraits. There's many, several hand switch outs. It's, it's just great. Looks great think, in this photo. I think you took a picture with him at San Diego, if I remember right. Yeah. Oh, I mean, the, you mean the real John Constantine? <laughs> the cosplayer, yes. I remember. We bumped into him. Yeah, you did. A, he was a bit surly, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was great. I think I interrupted his cigarette break. <laughs> All right. Now we're back to Kitty Raj. Uh, sorry, I got had these photos a little bit out of order, uh, but he also posted some photos of the, uh, the different swap outs. Um, so this is again very similar to the Joker say cheese. Somebody asked me earlier today uh, if I would, when I get this in, if I would sell Tech One Thousand and Joker say cheese, and I said never, um, because I, I I think I'm going to love all of them. But man, I I, just, I can never see myself partying with the other two. But Dan, how do you feel like these compared to what you saw last last night? I think that's pretty comparable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks like the uh, you know the paint applications are very similar especially on this one. See how the eyes just, <laughs> the, just the eyes and the teeth are so well done. Yeah. It looks crazy. Yeah. That's really, really good. So this is the bonus head. This is the yeah. uh, Jim Lee Hush head, um, which you can do. And then the, the, it does have the two Fabok heads. This is the regular right here. And then this is the, uh, the exclusive, hmm. which I think it's funny. They should have done it backwards. But that's the regular, that's the exclusive. And then here is the uh, the Joker looking down. So this is kind of the angle you wouldn't necessarily see very well, but this is uh right him in the in the in the vat of chemicals. So and this is the the uh, the regular Fabok. I think I like that one. Yeah, I think I do too. This is the uh, this is the exclusive Batman, and this is the regular Batman. So I'm so, probably in the minority, but that's the one thing I don't. I don't like the Fabok Joker portraits for some reason. Uh, it's just not my style of Joker. No, the good thing about it is you really, you know, you don't see it very well in this, you know, because he's sideways. So you know, you're mo you're definitely more focused on Batman in this piece with the wings. Don't you guys think? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would learn to live with it just because the whole thing is just incredibly awesome. Uh, again, there's three boxes. Again, here's a little bit better look at the base. Joker's holding the detonator. Got the smoke billowing up. So yeah, I, I can't wait to get this one in. I'm a little bit nervous how much room it'll take up, but we'll we'll see. It's incredible. Yeah. Talk about storytelling. You can tell right there. That's about the size of a normal coffee table right there. Yeah, that's right. The Jeff, that's the old Jeff Morris dinner table right there. <laughs> yep. All right, so I re-put these in twice, it looks like. Sorry, guys. Whenever you have to do uh, almost 300 photos, it's hard to find them all and get them in order, so I do apologize. Uh, this is the, the the Legendary Beast Studio Batman. This is something that Jay uh, asked about, uh, whether people like the closed mouth or the slightly open mouth. I voted for closed mouth for sure. Both. It's OBS yeah. for crying out loud. Well, it makes me wonder if he's gonna if he's doing other portraits though. Like this will, you know, this was one of them's gonna be a toss up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There's gonna probably be already another four portraits. Yeah. What I was thinking was because I, I remember when they did the te uh, Detective One Thousand and he had the the mouth open a little bit and that was like the least popular portrait. So. Yeah, I like the closed mouth. But. I mean, they good. both look good though. But yeah. Yeah. 
um, Green Lantern. I mean, the Jeff Delaney statue has come out. <laughs> How do you feel that Sideshow finally made a statue of you? Uh, <laughs> I want to cut. Oh, you know, no. I was going to say, get that, come, get that Delaney some money. I'm still a little bit, um, I don't know. I'm, I have a hard time with this piece. I like it. I like everything about it. I hear a butt coming on. It's 34 inches tall. Yeah. It's pretty tall. I mean, their Superman is 26. <laughs> so do you feel like it would look just, it would just dwarf everything else? I just, I don't know how many Justice League collectors want Green Lantern to be the main focus of their display. He's in outer space, so he's... <laughs> Like su Superman's I, on Earth and uh, Green Lanterns. I really like, the air I like space. everything about it. I'm just that that's my only concern is that is really tall for a, would, for a quarter scale. You yeah. could do a couple of different things that I could see. So like I, I've been starting to kind of group my premium formats a little bit. And so I could see a pro and con. So number one, I could see num he would have to A, be the centerpiece of your Justice League. So he would have to be in the middle and everybody else would have to be around him. Right. Or if you had depth, you could put somebody in front of him. Right. Which, you know, if you put Batman in front of him and Superman off to the side or whatever, if you did a if you did a diorama or something. But just even as a standalone piece, I think he looks incredible. Um, but I can definitely see the concern that you have, because mm -hmm. he would he would kind of just very similar when I asked you about if I should add Superman to my collection, that he would overpower in a negative way. I think that this one could overpower in a negative way also. Right. Um, but this one's sculpted by Daniel Bell. Um, great piece. It's been up uh, for pre-order for about three weeks now, three or four weeks. Um, but I do think he turned out really great. He's got that same kind of sideshow paint effect that he, they've been doing lately with some shadow and some paint, uh, some glow effect there on the hand. And then what I, what I was saying, which has nothing to do with the character, but it's like if they made this 34 inches tall, why couldn't they make the other PFs? That's all like the Galactus that they made so small or yep. the Surfer or, or, you know, well, there's all, all those other pieces. Great point. But anyway, I think he looks great. Did this base light up? I can't remember. Yeah, I think the ring lights yeah. up. Too, right? Oh, yeah, yeah the yeah. ring and the base. Yep, that's right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty I, like cool. It. I, I think he looks really good right there. She doesn't like it. Which one is that, Dan? It's uh, Charlie. It's because my wife just got home downstairs. <laughs> ah, she's like, let me out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, this is the new uh, XM Studios Bane. Going to be done in quarter scale and also six scale. And again, some of these have been out for a couple weeks, guys. I do apologize because we did have our auction show last time. Thank you, everybody that uh, tuned in for that, by the way. Um, what do you guys think? I don't know if we've talked much about this Bane. What, do you, what are just kind of your, your feelings about this one? And maybe it related to uh, the ones that we've seen previously. I only like him with the cowl. I, I don't like the pose where he doesn't have the cowl. I, can, I think the other arm drops down really low. I think it would look cool if he was like facing off against somebody, but just looking at him by himself, the other pose throws me off. That's a good point for me. I think like, yeah, if you, if they had made this a diorama with Batman on this other side of him or something, where he was fighting, I think that would maybe make a little bit more sense for me. I don't know. Dan, what do you think of the pose? I agree with Eric. I mean, I, I think this one with the cowl is cool, but somebody pointed out, I don't know, it was last week when they first posted these pictures, the the head looks a little bit small, and it it kind of throws me off a little bit. It, 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 his head almost gets lost on the statue, you know? Yeah. Seriously, like you don't really see his head too much. Um, th the detail in the, you know, in his upper body is fantastic, you know, and he looks grotesque and over big and whoops, sorry guys about the dogs. Um, You're okay. but, but his head gets kind of lot, especially the angle that you're looking at him, his head's kind of down inside his body almost. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. I just, I'm not wild about the, the portrait. It has grown on me a bit. It's just small. Don't get me wrong. The portrait itself is good, but it just looks small to me. Yeah. There's the uh, the mass portrait right there. I mean, de de detail. Yeah, I suppose I don't like the like details in the the paint looks great. 
you know, I feel like this 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 is what Eric was talking about without the cow, where his hand his hand just kind of coming yeah, straight it's just down. It's a little odd. It's like he's about to throw a punch, but at the same time, he's like, what? And kind of I feel like, like this, growl like, or you know, like I don't know. It's just looking weird. To me. Yeah, I feel like in this picture is is a good example of his head kind of looking small. I feel like with that pose, if he was about to throw a punch, it looked cooler if his hand was like reaching out, like he was about to grab Batman or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah like if, maybe if he was doing more like that uh, Kirby pose or that uh, who who did that. Uh, Kelly, wasn't that that black and white statue where he's kind of going like this? I know what you're talking about. about. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that would have been kind of cool to do a pose like that or something. I don't know. Oh, it's just a weird way to throw a punch like that. Oh. Yeah. What do you think of this one, Delaney? Um, I think XM's art direction lately has been a bit questionable, and um not terribly exciting so it's a fine bane but i think dan's comments are right on yeah um, sometimes you do see being represented with a head that seems smaller than the body but i don't know it doesn't excite me right yeah i, ha I just haven't seen it i haven't heard of a lot of excitement from the collectors yeah. So but guys, again, you have, you have some really great premium formats. You got the Daniel Bell piece, and you got the uh, Martin Canale piece right. um, that still hold up very well and, and and at a good price point. So if you guys are hearing some sustained booming behind me, yeah, uh, a rocket ship too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's a uh, there's a Christmas boat parade going. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Man, between the, between your two houses, this is a party tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Let's switch gears. This was shown this weekend. This is the one six scale samurai hero diorama. Uh, they are also going to be doing a villain one and uh, got some pretty decent photos. So again, this is basically all of the lineup. It's uh, definitely in kin to uh, the Batman sanity piece. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven figures on this one. And uh, I, we've definitely, and you know, between me and Dan and and Jeff Delaney has also had some of the samurai pieces. Um, what do you think about this one, guys? I think George Raw. I saw his comment in the Facebook group the other day, which rang very, very true to, or not true to me, but kind of echoed my own sentiment about this piece. Which is, if I if I am a only a dedicated samurai collector would consider buying something like this or or somebody who really has an affinity for samurai right because this is going to be what four grand or something 3500 bucks probably right yeah. so but what george said in the group he goes why would i buy this i already have all these characters right yeah, yeah. right he's a guy he said i've got all of them and to me whenever yeah. i look at this and I, I agree with george when i look at this this is this is meant to sell to people that didn't buy the other ones you know right, what but, I mean? And that's my point. It's if I liked XM Samurai stuff, I probably would have already bought it. Right. right. Or they're, they're probably just thinking what what makes money for us. They know that the Samurai line is big for them. And they're like, well, let's create yeah. more Samurai. Well, and, and right now I'm selling my Samurai below what I paid. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's tough. So, I mean, people. what does that say? I just don't know who the buyer is here and maybe i'm wrong and look this could go crazy big too over in asia you know for yeah. all we know um and that's probably the target market yeah i do love this new version of catwoman yeah that's cool there's your um, more samurai catwoman that you've been right that, and that's what i asked ang i'm like i really want a more samurai uh catwoman and he delivered yeah the, uh, she looks great the red hood is pretty much almost the same pose as the uh quarter scale right it's almost identical and they have multiple swap outs too so he's got his red hood por portrait catwoman's got a different portrait batman's got a different portrait robin so on so he comes uh seated and standing i'm assuming right correct uh, so here's the standing version um okay. and then here's the seated so you can swap them out okay wow that's gonna and be this is this is more of that deluxe mask like you see yeah. on shogun yep and then this is what you see on the samurai yeah yep <clears throat> piece so anyway, we had, uh, there, there's a uh, Batwoman right there. So she's a little different than the statue. Um, then we also had Batgirl, which is different as well. So, uh, oh, that, yeah, I'm not sure about, was that Batgirl? That's Batgirl. It looked like a mustache. I think it's just a shadow. <laughs> it's yeah, a shadow. 
<laughs> wow. Yeah, it's going to be interesting I, to see this all painted up. I, I don't love that. Batgirl to me is one of my favorite samurai statues. That one I have over my head behind me here. Um, that is nowhere near as good as the quarter scale. Yeah. And maybe, and maybe we'll have a different portrait too for her, I would assume. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but anyway, that gives us kind of an idea of that piece. Uh, they also showed the Batwing. I'm sorry, the uh, the Batman Beyond uh, Samurai piece as well was shown for the very first time. Uh, there are elements of this that I do like. Uh, I don't have a connection to Batman Beyond. Uh, I know some of you out there watching do. Um, uh, I think there's cool things about it. Like, look at the detail on the wings. I think that looks really great. Uh, you can see all the different texture and details. Uh, there were some really great photos, I think, from Enchan's place that had some much higher quality photos, uh, you know, detail of the samurai suit itself, which I thought looked really good. I don't like the base. I feel like it's super busy. What do you guys think about the base? Super busy. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. It's it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. Um, yeah. Well, it, it's apparently like some sort of like time portals. Is that what it is? That's really? what they said in the description. Um, you can see this is the penguin mask yeah. right there. Um, it also bit. has the Catwoman mask from the samurai piece. Um, it also has the, let's see, where else did I see? There's the Joker. There's the Joker mask right there at the top, Harley's mallet. <clears throat> so they took, they took pieces of all of the different villains That's weird. and added it to the base from the previous samurai line. Uh, just but a little bit. The time portal thing. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't understand it either. Looks like a collapsed temple or you know, a building. Yeah. It's like the portal, you're being sucked through the portal, maybe por the time. I don't know. I just, I don't love it. You know, what's funny is like, I, I kind of, A, I didn't get that at all when I saw that, but B, yeah, me either. It's kind, of, it's kind of a cool concept, though. I kind of like the idea relative to Samurai that of a time portal. Yeah. Like, because well, you're going back in time, right? It connects you to the fact that a lot of their pieces, their pieces have futuristic elements. Yeah. Yeah. And so that this piece is, I believe, designed to tie all that together. And uh, which I think is, like you said, it's, it's a really smart concept, really. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just you have to kind of understand what the hell's going on <laughs> to get it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a new Loki quarter scale from them. Uh, some people have really loved this one. Some people have not liked it at all. Uh, I'll, I'll, let, me, let me listen to your opinion, guys. What do you guys think of this Loki? Oh, my God. I don't think I've seen one positive comment. I actually like it, though. I think it looks... Oh, my God. <laughs> I think I'm the oh only one that likes it. Settle it's, down, Jeff Morris. Settle down. It's sex offender registry Loki. It, it looks like a, she looks like a child predator. Look at... I know. Come on. The hey, kids. Man, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, kids, would you like some cookies in my van? <laughs> right, exactly. I feel like a, XM. This is a miss. Oh my! Far away, he looked like Quentin Tarantino to me. So. Oh my god! He kind of does a little bit. Well, he's kind of creepy looking too. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was making the comparison. But I, I, overall, I think it looks cool. But yeah, he has a creepy looking face. Uh, yeah. What is he I supposed to be? Well, he's supposed to be again. He's the god of mischief, so he's supposed to be kind of mischievous looking. Yeah. Some people think he looks a little cartoony, which I could see that. Some um, people he's got think a, he looks too old. He's got the frog. Yeah, he looks a little too old. He's got the frog in his in his hand, which I think looks okay. This I love the detail on some of this stuff down here. That looks really good to me. But yeah, I just don't love the face. And <clears throat> what I also worry about is the uh, <laughs> the price point because look how minimal the base is. <laughs> which I'm all for that. I like the idea of minimal bases, uh, especially if, because if it saves us money. But if this right here costs as much as a regular quarter scale, you know what I mean. Well, they would say the sword is part of the base. Yeah. I'm not buying it. I, I don't think like anybody's it. buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I'm buying it. I see what you did there. <laughs> I love it. They give him a, a swap out portrait, though. Do you like the rest of it? That was the best when they, a couple of days later, they, they introduced the swap out portrait and it was just as bad. Oh, <laughs> I haven't seen the swap out. What are they doing? Uh, <clears throat> I like like Jeff said earlier. It's like the the art direction as of late has been kind of in question. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> sure. So anyway, that's the Loki. Uh, another piece that uh, they showed is the uh, the the Dark Knights of Steel, um, which some people have have, have been digging. Um, again, it's not for me, but uh, it is from that series where uh, you know it's kind of the medieval times of Batman and Superman. Um, I don't know what do you, what is your take on these guys. I don't know if I've really heard your opinion on these either. 
I do not like the bat. I like the Superman actually. I, I I just have no care for this Batman at all. Dan, any interest on your end? No, it's not my thing. They were a little bit um, too far um, away from the core character uh, designs. I guess you could say. I don't know. You know how some of the samurai are more original. You know, more faithful to the original design of the character than others. Yeah, I mean, they get too far away from me. Even like the, um, the Shogun Batman on horse, beautiful statue, extraordinarily well executed, but just a little bit too far away from the core character design. And well, you don't even you don't even care for like you're not really a big fan of like the um, Dark Knight's metal stuff either. Um, more than this, put it that way. Right, more than this, yeah. Right, more than this, but but still that you used to like the more of the core. More of the core. I mean, <clears throat> right. I, I like, um, you know, Batman Who Laughs is a great character, but in terms of all of the others, they're cool, interesting designs, but not where I'm going to invest in. Right. Them in my right. Um, this is the Superman, which I think is is cool. I mean, it's definitely got some cool color going and some and design elements going. Um, I mean, if you looked at him, I would never know he's actually Superman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so again, you just have to love the source material. And I, I I feel like the ES on these are going to be really small, really small. I would think so. Yeah, I I would not buy this as a Superman statue. It looks cool as like a a knight in armor statue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but exactly. You wouldn't, you wouldn't buy it just because it's a knight in armor statue, though. <laughs> no. Yeah, and, and so that's the thing, right? To me, this is where they've lost the plot. If you take the S off the banner, his chest, and the thing on the base. There's yep. nothing that tells you this is Superman. Nothing. Not a thing. Yep. Not one thing. Not even the unmasked portrait. Right. So it's just all about the logo or the, you know, his, mm -hmm. the emblem. Uh, yep. No, not for me. Yep. Uh, they also tease some other, man, people trash this. Uh, oh, what is that? So, <laughs> so this was on the video screen back behind of some things that they were kind of teasing. And I don't know if these are being considered to be done, but they had this Joker on this little motorcycle thing and then they also had batman and what's he here <clears throat> uh jumping out of some smoke like he looks like he's running through the bat cave yeah maybe running through the bat cave maybe he's escaping maybe he's put like a gas pellet down or something <laughs> sorry mario kart joke <laughs> <laughs> it's -a me joker <laughs> <laughs> that was good <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do love Mario Kart, so I, I would be all in for a Batman Mario Kart. <laughs> Throwing instead of turtle shells, you throw a batarang. Yeah, that's all. Spin out. <clears throat> so I don't know if this is again. This was just uh, whenever uh, Indra, uh, Indra uh, did a video for us on the channel where they did the tour, and this was on the screen playing behind it, uh, doing some uh, some previews. So again, I don't know if this will be produced or not, but I had to share it. Oh my that's, god! Yeah, that's odd. Yeah. So again, kind of some weird stuff coming from uh, XM right now. Uh, this is the new Spider-Man they showed. I, I feel like it's okay. It's kind of underwhelming to me. Yeah. Uh, haven't yeah. haven't heard a, a ton of love. Yeah. That looks like a GameStop statue. <laughs> yeah. You know, it does. It looks like something you'd see in the case at GameStop. Yeah. Yeah. I, yep. Speaking of something you don't see in the case at GameStop. No, you don't see this. <laughs> you don't see this. This is a half-scale piece from Lord of the Rings. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people have been really impressed with this. I know uh, Paula was uh, considering buying this one. I don't know if she's still in the chat. Um, she had posted today that she was uh, potentially interested in this, but uh, this was it on display. Well, I know. I think I told the story years ago on the channel before, but I sat next to Viggo Mortensen on a plane once back from London, and I can tell you this looks just like him. Well, there you go. That's awesome. Did you get to talk to him? No, I didn't talk. He had his face in a laptop the whole flight. I, that's oh, I'm sure. I'm sure he kept it. his head down the whole time. Yep. I would too. Yeah, but that looks, this statue looks incredible. And this yeah. is Queen? Who's this? Uh, this is Infinity. Infinity, yeah. Look at that. I mean, that, that's just... All all of their pieces, in my opinion, from this line have been really good. Yep. Um, I, I, I haven't really seen much at all wrong with them. I think Infinity, I feel like I feel like this is a really good sweet spot for Infinity. I feel like some of their life size has been kind of hit or miss, especially with like the hair and stuff. Yeah. But 
this this line has been outstanding. So congratulations to anybody that, that I mean, look at that. Yeah, that really looks good. Yeah, I got uh, a yeah. Jeff Morris in the chat. Jeff Morris. Hey, Jeff Morris. Welcome, sir. Oh yeah, Jeff. I remember those uh, characters in the small hot rod vehicles. That's true. <laughs> Hey Jeff, if you want to pop on, feel free, or hang out. It's up to you. That uh, that looks amazing. Yeah, I, I just I'm so excited for collectors that collect this because I I think this is there's just, there's been a lot of really good Lord of the Rings stuff lately, and I'm just it, they're definitely finally getting their due. These yeah. are going to all look amazing together. I'd love to oh. see a, a room tour of somebody who is collecting all of them. Oh yes, because the uh, the Gimli looks amazing. Is uh, he the little dude? The, uh, the dwarf. <laughs> Yes, he. I think that's the best one so far. The John Reese Davies. No, he's uh, so good. Yeah. Yeah. So good. So anyway, we'll move off of him. But I was like, I just, I'm really impressed with what they've been able to do with this line. Oh, and then they've got the other one too. Um, Orlando Bloom's character. Um, oh yeah, Legolas. Legolas. Yeah, yeah. Legolas is really looks really great too. In that and I, I was told I didn't realize this, but I guess they scrapped the sculpted hair version. That's good. I, I think so too because it didn't even comp come close to comparing to the rooted. Exactly. Um, so like, why even bother? So I, 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 I'm, I was glad to hear that they scrapped it. Yep. Uh, this is some new stuff from uh, Iron Studios. Um, this is a new quarter scale piece. Uh, this thing's massive. Look at that. That yeah. looks cool. That looks really cool though. Yeah, it's a really nice sculpt. Look at that. It's one of my really favorite. Good. One of my favorite uh, X Men characters. I, I think he's. Awesome. I know we, we we finally get a licensed beast. The only thing is, I've seen so many good custom ones that it's there are. Yeah. Uh, How does this one hold up to those though? I, I don't think it's as good as oh the, really the others, but at least we at least they made a licensed one finally. Yeah, finally. And it's a cool pose. It's different than the the customs, which is yeah, good. it's good. And it's not Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> yep. Uh, this is a blue beetle uh, i think this is a 10 scale one that they're doing so again some of these are ones they tease they had a, a great convention down um in brazil uh, if you watch jim mint uh, he had some great footage on his channel if you guys want to check that out um and he... <laughs> <laughs> what happened jeff morris he says he's, he's piled up with his with his sleeveless sleep shirt on and doesn't want to traumatize delaney <laughs> <laughs> Oh. don't say the b word <laughs> okay um and it's not the b word you're thinking uh anyway blue beetle uh we've got some new uh disney stuff they're kind of going all in for the disney 100 um yep <laughs> uh, I, was, I was actually contacted by um iron studios today um telling me a little bit about this line and what their plans are and stuff and uh they're really kind of all in on this stuff. And I think they've, they've been really, really good. Uh, I'm a big giant Disney fan. I love the Disney parks. And I think everybody in this, everybody in the rogues loves Disney. Yep. Um, we all love going to the parks and stuff. And um, I've just been really impressed. They had that Peter Pan one that they showed. Uh, there's a new monsters Inc. One that's really great, but um, I'm just really glad they got the Disney license. Cause I think that's going to be, there's so many Disney fans out there that are really going to love this stuff. I'm a Disney collector, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And they also had some new Avatar pieces as well. So if you are a, a 10 scale Avatar, and again, 10 scale for Avatar is pretty big. Yeah. Because it's they're oversized anyway. I had a brand new lizard. I thought he looked pretty cool for 10 scale. So if you're a Spider Man collector, nice. kind of yeah. he's kind of small though. But cool. again, 10 scale, pretty cool. Uh, new Thor. I thought this one looked really good. I really liked him. That uh, gives you an idea. Look how dynamic he is. No, oh, that is cool. And that yeah. and, like, look at the base. I think mean, it's a big ten scale. Man, they're they are absolutely going hog wild on the ten scale past couple of years, huh? Yeah. They must really be just crushing it with these. Um, and again, I'm I'll give a shout out to Jim again. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched his video uh, the other day, but he he goes in and talks about. I didn't realize that that um, Iron Studios is basically the same as Sideshow. Like they are they're just a big giant distributor. That happens to also make their own statues, um, and so I didn't realize that they distribute Prime One and Sideshow and other other companies. They do. Um, I didn't they know do. That. They do. Um, and so it was really. It's just a really. If you again, if you haven't checked it out, uh, <laughs> just you know, check that video out from a couple of days ago from Jim because it was 
uh, it, I, it was eye opening to me. It was a lot of information that I had no idea about. So, um, kind of gives us some insight. It also takes you into the, um, the inner workings of iron studios, like their how, where they're, where they actually sculpt and display. It's pretty cool. It's a cool video. So check it out. Uh, here's another angle for, of, of the, of the Thor. Yeah. Uh, they also had some other stuff teased. Uh, they had a Thanos tease. This is the same one as the one that we saw in San Diego. That was, what, what was that? $20,000 or something, Jeff? I can't remember. Uh -huh. Sixty. No, $60,000. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, real diamonds or real, real diamonds. Gemstones or whatever, yeah. Yeah. So this one's the 10 scale version. Um, and then they also have teased some other characters, Doctor Strange, Hulk. Um, so they have other ones in, in the workings here. Uh, I knew Iron Man. Namor and Thor, which we saw Thor already. Hmm. Um, Nova, Scarlet Witch, She-Hulk. Hey, there's your She-Hulk there, Jeff. Yay. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Wolverine, Spider-Man. Little She-Hulk. Little She-Hulk, that's right. Uh, they also teased this one. This was an Arkham Asylum diorama. Um, one ten scale. It's unclear whether they are going to do individual pieces or if it's all going to be just one giant thing. Gotta be um, I would assume it's separate. Uh, people guessed on what some of these were. Penguin, Harley, Poison Ivy, Joker, Catwoman, Riddler, Bane, Freeze, and Clayface. Uh, they also put Talon back there. I don't know if that would be Talon because I, he was not in the Arkham games. I think it's Scarecrow. <clears throat> yeah, I'd say the Scarecrow would make more sense back there. Yeah, it looks like it has the arms like. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, I was just excited. I think this could be a really fun diorama with Batman kind of going into the darkness um, against all the characters like that's it would be like a dream piece for me I don't know exactly how I would display it <clears throat> I think one tenth would look really dwarfed in my collection but something like this as a big diorama might work it that's looks awesome. like looks like that base whether it's one or many is in the shape of a bat I just thought oh, I didn't even notice oh, that that's true that is cool yep oh I like this and you can see the Arkham Asylum uh, the gate being broken in front mm-hmm What's the shape so, of the bat? The entire base, you said? The base. Yes. base. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. That's cool. I didn't notice that, Jeff. That's a really great way you found that. That's awesome. Yeah, I just picked up the uh, the Arkham Trilogy game for the Nintendo Switch. I don't play games too much, but I do have a Nintendo Switch, and they just released all three of them for it. Well, congratulations. That's such a fun game. That, um, are you sure that's based on the game designs? It says Arkham Asylum, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It could be the graphic novel. Yeah, I... I oh, that's a good point. But some of those characters didn't exist. Like Harley didn't exist back then. Um, Bane didn't exist back then. So it might not be. <clears throat> but maybe it's just Arkham Asylum. Yeah, just Arkham you know, Asylum. Maybe it's just, you know, just Batman the villain. So I love yeah. the idea. I mean, him going into the nightmare scenario... Um, I mean, I always love when he goes into Arkham. So this is, I, yeah. I, this is, this could be a dream piece for me. I can't wait. Uh, new uh, He-Man piece. Also, I believe this is one ten scale. Uh, <laughs> we're writing Battle Cat, um, but it's a pretty sizable piece. Yeah, that's cool. So if you know, if, <clears throat> if you if you don't want to get the Tweeterhead one because it's maybe a little too big, um, this one might be a little bit more accommodating. <clears throat> they also had a C-3PO and R2D2 teased so those are always fun I have a lot of star wars pieces coming man look at that guy's arms i was about to say this guy's got some battle cat arms <laughs> yes he to does <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> stay warm in the winter time <laughs> god bless him oh. this piece was really great uh, speaking of legolas yeah, yeah i like this one a lot how awesome is this thing look at this thing that's so cool isn't that cool that's going to be a sizable piece. It's yeah. massive. Again, that's 10 scale. But that's got to be one of the biggest 10 scales they've done. Yep. Look at, yeah, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's huge. That's basically a quarter scale. Or it may be bigger than a quarter scale. Wow. 20, 20, 28.3 high. <laughs> wow. That's really cool. That is really neat. Again, if you're a Lord of the Rings collector, this is, this is like the golden years right now. Yep. Uh, this is the new. I, I actually thought this was Queens, but this is not Queens. Um, crap! Who was this? I don't remember now. Darn it! Let me see if I can. See Black Adam. I can't remember who it was now. Darn it! Maybe you guys can 
tell me in the chat. I can't remember, but I thought this turned out pretty good. It's not um, Queen. Beast Kingdom. That's it. That's it. Thank you very much. Uh, Ryan. Yeah, this is, yeah. Thank you very much. For, uh, who was it? Ryan. R Ryan. Hey, Eckholt. hey yeah. thanks, Ryan. Thank you. Yeah, this is Beast Kingdom. I think it turned out pretty good. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. Definitely has a good likeness. But the Queen Studio is doing almost identical. Super chat. <clears throat> what was it? Uh, no, look at your screen. Yeah. Super, uh, your screen? I can't see it, guys. I can't oh, see what that, uh, all I see is the pictures. Stephen oh, okay. Stephen Loeb with a four ninety nine uh super chat says uh recommend I buy Dark Side one third Star Trek line from Spec Fish Spec Fiction question mark. Todd offered me the three figures for he's asking for a recommendation on Todd. Yeah. Todd's a great seller. Uh, Stephen, absolutely uh, recommend him. 3300 shipped is a crazy good deal for those three. They all, they're all priced like, well, Kirk is cheaper because there's no switch outs. He was like $1,199, but the others are $1,499 and 1599 So wow. 3300 for all three shipped, that's a really good deal. Amazing. Yeah, no doubt. Um, thank you very much for the super chat. That was awesome. Um, I also want to thank uh, collector Nancy uh, did a uh, PayPal super chat. I uh, just received that that uh, notification. So uh, they clicked the the comment uh, in the pinned comment up above. So thank you very much for that. I uh, really appreciate that, Nancy. Thank you very much. Um, so anyway, there's the Black black Adam piece there again. Uh, I included this. This was up for pre-order recently. Uh, again, um, this is a Dragon Ball Z, very popular from Prime 1. Look at that, 150 ES on this. So you can't tell me that it's just DC that's not selling. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what I hear all the time. Well, nobody likes DC. Nobody likes DC. Nobody's buying. Mm, this is an ES of 150. And I don't know what this is. So I'm, I'm, I, I apologize, guys. I, if you love this, I, I just know nothing about it. And I, know, and I know the rogues know nothing about it either. I don't know. Yet. So it's Dragon yeah. Ball. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Dragon Ball Z. It looks cool. I'm sure it's accurate. Again, I just don't know anything about it, but I didn't want to include it for because I know I know some of our viewers enjoy this uh, as well, and I I apologize for not being more knowledgeable about it. Uh, Jeff, did you buy this thing? I did. Which one did you get? The deluxe, but it it was it was a tough decision. Um, I think even the the regular is. Is a great piece. Um, I am lazy when it comes to statue maintenance. So the idea of dealing with rooted hair, I don't even want to think about it. So that's probably why I'm skipping the, the platinum. Also the platinum, you only get one portrait and I wanted two portraits that the uh, deluxe gives me. I feel like, cause I feel like the deluxe is the way to go. If somebody mm -hmm. asked me and I've had a lot of people ask me I just I recommend the deluxe. <clears throat> I think you get more bells for your whistles, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't know why they wouldn't have just included a second portrait in the platinum, even if it wasn't the rooted hair one. Like it could have been the sculpted one, just to have a second one. They're trying to be very specific about the scene in the movie where that statue takes place. So the oh, that's three, right, because the weapons are different, right? The uh, the three versions aren't random. They're each one is a specific part. Of yeah. The yeah, the platinum is the Cyberdyne shootout. So that's a very specific scene, like you said. So right. that makes sense. But yeah, I, I, I do. It does it does kind of suck. There's only one portrait. But I but I get it. Um, likeness is incredible. I think anyone that orders any of the three is going to be really happy. I do too. And again, having just received a Blitzway piece... Um, I have no doubt what you're going to get in hand, guys. That that Michelle Pfeiffer portrait is is better than any photo I saw of her. It's better than the prototype, in my opinion. Um, it's just in hand. It looks phenomenal. Something else about the hair, even though the rooted hair looks more real, the sculpted hair I think is styled better. <laughs> Okay. So I think it looks better than the rooted. Because the rooted hair can just kind of just it just goes straight up. It's all, it's all that you can really do. Um, but the sculpted hair has more style to it. It looks good, I think. There's there's the sculpted right there. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with you, Jeff. I think it looks better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I do too. Yeah. I, like I said, I think the deluxe is for me, it's the way to go. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, again, you just, you cannot go wrong. Congratulations to anybody that picked this one up. I think you're going to be really pleased. It's just going to take a year and a half. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem is all this, all this waiting now. Yeah. Uh, some production photos from uh, Jurassic park, uh, from prime one. So that's awesome. those look great. Uh, this was a teaser, I think from PCS, if I remember right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it says it. Oh, yeah, right there in the corner. Sorry, I'm blind. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Ant Adams. Uh, he talked about this. This is a, uh, is it Akuma? Is that the name of this character? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're including a second portrait now for free. Oh. Um, so they were originally just going to do the one portrait, and now they've updated the second portrait um, for no additional charge. Which one's the second one? The one on the right? This or... one. Those this portraits are big. <laughs> oh my God. This th the whole thing is giant. It's one of the biggest yeah. statues I've ever seen. Yeah. It's nuts. Um, this is a new piece from um, Hot Toys, and they've teamed up with somebody named Hondo or Hano. And I don't know for sure what Hano is. I don't know if you guys can fill me in, if you know anything or, but it's just, they're doing this cooperation with them. The only thing I know is I, I saw that J Scott Campbell shared this cause uh, they, that pose, the first picture the pose is straight off the cover of his comic book. Oh, this one right there. Yeah. And then here's the uh, comic. So that's pretty awesome. So anyway, um, Maybe that's what it is. Maybe because it's seamless. Hmm. So again, I do apologize. Maybe somebody in the chat knows something a little bit more about Hano, but <clears throat> they made a big deal about them teaming up. So hmm. uh, if you are a six scale collector, oh, I'm going backwards. Sorry, guys. Look at those claws. Wow. Yeah. Makes the, uh, the PCS look short. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When he retracts those, where do they go? I don't know where they go, but not in his hand. Pretty crazy. But yeah, that does look good. Maybe he just wears them all the time. Maybe so. <clears throat> Great back scratcher. It, might make it hard to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but... Or go to the bathroom. It's not but, even the statues. I, I've seen those comments go all the way back decades into the, the comics that his claws might be too long or... People do but, like they, but they look cool though. where they go and everything. yeah they look cool look <laughs> at this yeah this <laughs> is a beauty this no, is the you... tweeter head this is tweeter head one six there also is the quarter scale i don't think they've released that one yet correct but but man these photos i'm a believer really, this thing is really beautiful great. yeah she's another tall one should be good with the yes. green lantern very tall <laughs> Yeah, I, I just I I just think she turned out so good. Yeah. Yeah. Um I mean, look at that. That's cool. I yeah, texted was... Chad the other day. I said, if you want me to review one of those, I'd be happy to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He said he wasn't sure what they had in stock, but he'll take a look. Okay. Well, that's good. So we'll see. Yeah, this is definitely a, uh, this is definitely a sanctuary type piece. It's really um, pretty. It's really beautiful. Yeah, I want, she is just massively tall. And I really like the axe. <laughs> yeah. I'll throw that to the sword. Yeah, I do too. But, man, she looks great. Congratulations to anybody getting this one. Man, that's, this quarter scale is going to be big. Yep. And yeah, there's a better, another other angle for her. Yeah, she's but awesome. So tall. I, Look at that. I saw someone uh, displaying her with their 1-6 Superman, and they looked great together. Is oh, she yeah. like way, way taller than him or? No, their top of the heads are like match. Really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Well, I think with the sword, she was like in the, the 30 inch range or something like that. Okay. The, the tip of the sword now. Like, so the heads would probably still match up. It's just the mm. sword goes up so high. I uh, have to give uh, another shout out to, um, of course, um, Chad. And he put up a poll for you to vote on a fan favorite. They're going to do this, I think, maybe, th I think he said three or four times a year they're going to do this, mm -hmm. where you guys can select which characters you want. And even the characters that didn't win this time, they might win another time. So um, 
Don't be disappointed if your person did not win, but I'm very happy <laughs> that this one won. So Solomon Grundy is going to be made in one third scale as a bust. Uh, it's part of their bust line. And so I doubt we'll ever get a big third scale Grundy. So I'm really happy that uh, the tweeter head's going to do this one. What do you guys think? It's going to be cool. It's going to be a big bust. Oh, big bust. Yeah. Yep. Caught me by surprise. I didn't think he was going to win. And yeah, he didn't he won win by a small margin. He only won by three or four or five votes or something. It was crazy close. That's crazy. So Big Barda was number two, right? Yeah, so. number yeah, Big Barda was number two. I'm sure so, they'll so take care of that. It was totally worth it for me to create 75 fake email addresses <laughs> so I can get this guy to win. So all that work paid off. I voted for I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, of course. Um, got some better photos today of the, uh, the Chris Hemsworth uh, Thor bus. This is Queen Studios. The, the initial photos I thought were not not very <laughs> complimentary of this uh, bust. I think like this looks much better. Um, what do you guys think of the likeness as he's turned out? He's obviously shipping now. I'd say like 85% maybe. Something weird about the eyes. The hair yeah. looks really nice the way it's stylized though. I see. I, I I think I it's I think it's more like 92, 93 for me. I don't know if the head is accurate, but it looks like at least they put some effort into fixing it. <laughs> it looks like a combination between Chris Hemsworth and Liam Hemsworth. I yeah. I could see that. I could see that. But I mean, you definitely know who it is. Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt about I mean, that. It's not like one of those like who's that supposed to be? Yeah. Comments I see on Facebook. I'm like, come on. Yeah. I hate those comments. Like, you know who it is. But anyway, that's starting to ship. So if you are a collector of these bus, um, <clears throat> profile looks good. Yeah, say the profile looks real good to me. Yeah, I like that. There's some kind of like there's bruising on his face. He's got the scar on his cheek. And now this is one to me where it could be the photography because for me it's the eyes. His eyes look a little bit close together. Yeah. Um, if I had to put a you know pinpoint on it, but. It definitely yeah. could be photography. Could be, you know. Well, as as we know, guys. I mean, we've we've all taken statue photos, and most of the time, they don't nearly show off what they do, like in, it's in real really life. Really hard to capture them well. It just really is. It it just really is hard. Yep. So you know, this is another example. Like this one has gotten trashed a lot of times because of his eyes, um, and his hair. This is the Infinity Studios Batman. I don't know if you guys think it looks any better here or not, but face looks good. To me, oh. yeah, I agree. I think the portrait looks really good. I'm not sure what they were trying to do with the hair. Yeah, the hair looks funny. <clears throat> that's Only the bail because... bust on display. That's not a good picture at all. Of that bust, yeah, right? awful there. picture of her here. Terrible. Like I've seen many, many other pictures of this bust where she looks fantastic. Yep. So again, you know, it's just it's just the photography. You know what it looks like to me? It looks like a Renaissance painting of her. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It, 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 that, yeah. You, it, it really does. Look at her hair. It looks like a paint. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, you're you exactly right, Jeff. It just, it just dawned on me. Somebody photoshopped like the back of this or something. Like It looks heavily photoshopped. Maybe it is. Again, these are just photos that I find off of Facebook, so who knows? I could have sworn, I even when they teased it, I felt like the photos looked a lot, very photoshopped on that, uh, that bust. Uh, yeah. I don't know why, but this guy makes me nervous right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably take a few steps back from him. I don't know why. But uh, anyway, they had some other busts on display this weekend at Singapore Comic Con. Uh, again, thanks to Indra for taking some footage for us. Um, this one was really impressive. That looks really good. Yeah. So good. She's going to be expensive. Yes. But man, and she's big. I mean, she's more like true to life size. Uh, there's there's a Catwoman and Batman next to each other. That's cool. I still wish there was a way to put a cowl on that. Bust. I do too. What what percentage do you think I should get that? Hmm. I like it. So, I don't know. so what would you be like? Like eighty five percent for me to get it? Well, yeah, I always felt like if you're going to buy a silicone bust, at least go for one that's unmasked if you're going to pay all that money for a silicone bust. Not that they're just covered up with a cowl. And I think I think it looks pretty cool that he's holding the cowl. 
I just think I don't the, it looks like him that much though on this. I, don't know. I think the option would be cool. You know what I mean? Like you're paying that money for a life size of a character. Right. I don't know. I, I I would like the option. So yeah. in my in my my collection right now, I've got the Ledger Joker bust in the middle. Do you think that that's enough, or do you feel like it needs a Batman to balance it out? Uh, I th I I I think we we talked when you first started talking about busts in your collection. I remember saying I think bookends work well in your collection. Mm -hmm. They have in the past, right? right. Batman and Joker, and I think as bookends, I think you going down the bust rabbit hole. No. Nah. Yeah. I don't, no. <clears throat> I don't think I don't think you need an unmasked Batman to go against a Joker. Right. You'd want a masked one. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the thing is, I I wish, like Dan said, I wish it had the option. Yeah, um, you probably could create an option for yourself. I mean, if it's, you know what I mean. If the head is accurate in size, you probably could. You, you know, probably could. The, the only thing is, that, then what do you put in his hands? Like he's he's holding yeah, something. Like true. you can't. It's like you can't fist ball his fists up or something. Do do we know if that cowl comes out of his hands? It does. it does. It does create find something that fits in something his yeah like maybe like a basketball like an ipad or something like he's looking at yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, martini you know that's right speaking of like things that batman could hold i found something on amazon and it came up suggested for me i was christmas shopping i swear they I, a a real functioning aluminum grapple hook like you would put like what it looks like something that would shoot out of a batman gun <laughs> And this, and this was suggested on Amazon for you? Yes, on Amazon, where I was <laughs> just close to buying it. Tell me you're a Batman fan without telling me you're a Batman yeah, right. fan. <laughs> exactly. Right? That's, yep. that's the epitome of that right there. I, I will. I bet, I bet it's still in my suggested feed. Um, you you need it. to absolutely send that to Renee for you to get to for Christmas. I really we should. should. We need you more really details. Should. I need to know how far it shoots and how much it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, honey, honey, I really want the scrapple gun. I, I might buy it. Here it is. I found it. Oh, well, it's good because Renee's watching right now. So she just. Hey, Renee. It. But that. Get, you have to get this for Dan. You have to get this for Dan for Christmas. In my suggested feed. Oh, so it's like with the rope and stuff? Yep. That's hilarious. <laughs> and it's full size. That's made of, yeah, large yeah. grappling hook with 65 foot rope, four <laughs> cloth folding stainless steel grapple hooks. That's not fun. You need a lot of upper body strength for that. I need the one that shoots out the gun and the gun just pulls me up. In the Seriously, who buys and uses a grapple hook? Like who, who's uh, who's using that? Batman. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Batman and the like Atlantis. people trying to escape jail. No, Chris, the the correct answer is spelunking. Oh, My spelunking. God. Spelunking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yep. you seem like you could be a spelunker. You could be a spelunker. Sure. <laughs> Renee's saying that's all we freaking need. Yeah, you just <laughs> need a grapple gun. <laughs> well, it's not even a grapple gun. It's just a grapple, right? Grapple, but I could create. Is that, you know? Sure, you could create a grapple gun. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm sure there's one on Etsy. Could be done. Yep. Yeah. On Etsy. <laughs> oh, that's that's hilarious. Stainless steel. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, this is the uh, the Batman 2.0 that we did. I uh, did a video on today. Um, I think this looks really good. I think that they've really updated the suit. <clears throat> looks really nice. So is this supposed to be as it was in the Flash movie? I think this is considered Batman versus Superman. Batman. Okay, BVS. All right, yeah. Because this uh, looks better than how the costume fit him in, in the Flash movie. Yeah, yeah I thought terrible. it fit. I, I hated that costume. I hated it. Thought it was terrible. Yeah, one of the worst. Um, so I thought this was neat that they do two different hairstyles. Um, you can magnetize on. I thought that was cool. Um, sad Batman. Yeah, <laughs> I was just sad gonna Batman. say, are they, are they following the JND playbook or what? What are they doing there? What sad Batman? It's yeah. This is that one where he's you know exact. He just yeah, yeah. Just what is what is he off off in the corner smoking? He looks like the whole <laughs> world's in him. Yeah, I mean, it's so sad. <laughs> uh, I think it's the cow so portrait dope. looks really good. Yeah, those look those look excellent. Yep. No, it looks, those look like stills. Uh, there's the there's the extended base here where you have the base and the wired cape. Um, so I think that looks really great. Um, the regular does come with both portraits, which I thought was nice. Ryan um, Eckholt, Ryan Eckholt is saying that we're missing a lot of priceless Brad Ladner commentary right now. Oh no! 
So, so Dan, you're you're gonna have to help me with that because I can't see it. Help. Yeah. Okay. I thought we were doing great without him. Oh. Oh. He doesn't mean thought, that, Brad. No, I meant our jokes were pretty funny. I thought I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's the new one from Hot Toys. Um, I think that looks really good. Ooh. Look at that face. Uh, yeah. I don't. That's not very scary. Rage. Rage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, I just lost. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know. Giant head. Yeah, this, is, this is this is the scariest thing, and I know this is. I, I think this might be a fan art. I'm not sure. I don't know if this is licensed or not. Which we don't usually feature that stuff here on the channel. But I had to share this because it was the most creepy, amazing thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, there's an. I feel like you showed it on one of the shows. There's another picture where it's on the the body. Yeah. Have I don't, it, uh, I don't think that I have that one. Us, right? Yeah, because I felt like we commented that it looked too big on the body because I remember making the comment. I was like, well, I remember it when the, the lady was holding her hands. I thought it oh, was maybe we really did. Cool. I don't remember. Maybe it was talking last week. I can't remember. But anyway, it's, it's that one that we there was a big controversy about whether it was real or Photoshop. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. I think it's in our chat somewhere. It's real. There's a really good picture of the whole bust in the passenger seat of a car with the seatbelt <laughs> on. I did see that one. That's crazy. Oh, it's that's crazy. That was funny. And we're still sure that those aren't just all photoshopped, right? No, it's real. Uh, hmm. uh, this that? is uh, the the print that Eric got me uh, from David Finch, um, which I love. And some collector sent this in um, where he actually had it framed. Looks Look how great. nice that is. Isn't that great? Yeah, great job. That engraving is cool. Yeah, it's so good the, with, the, with the cut in here. Yep. <clears throat> so anyway, that's a really great, great piece. Uh, these are some in-hand photos of Vamprilla. I think she turned out really great, great, obviously. Yeah, it looks great. Yep. So coming soon to the BSC. Will she stay Vamprilla, though? Nope. <laughs> she's officially Talia Al Ghul. Yeah, she's, so she's, she's Talia Al Ghul. I've been searching for... Etsy for custom people. There, actually, there's all these custom people that will make quarter scale and third scale dresses and costumes. So I've started my, my down the rabbit hole because I really want to figure it out. I want to make her tell you. Oh, that's a great idea. Without, without painting her. Like I don't want to paint her. I want to just be able to put yeah. something on her to make her tell you. And then if I sell her, then she's back to Vamprilla. So you think before assembling, like how would you get clothing onto her? Uh, yeah, you would just, you, or you would just put it on. You would, yeah, you would put it on, then reassemble it, and then put the head on. Hmm. Yeah, it's that simple, Dan. Yeah, it's that's, that simple, Dan. <laughs> clearly, you haven't put as much thought into this as I have. I really, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I'm thinking about buying doll clothes, Dan. That's oh, where I'm at. Okay. You thought I lost it last week. Now I'm now I'm looking up doll clothes on Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> Good God Almighty! How how the mighty has fallen! I tell you. Oh, be Vampirella God. cosplaying as Talia. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, Lord help me. Maybe I need to cancel her tonight. Just, uh, you decide. So this is, say that again. You decide. I know. Well, Rick Van Dingleberry has deemed you the BSC doll collector. Yes, that's yes. that's that's me now. Uh, I'm going to be going here next, next year. I'm going to be doing a lot of vintage cabbage patch dolls. <laughs> yes. Uh, and you know, and you're kind of getting into that whole, I'm trying to like really expand my channel out to a lot of different varieties. So I think that's uh, good. Stay tuned. Maybe some strawberry shortcake. <laughs> oh boy. Care bears. I'm just thinking all the stuff my sister played with when I was a kid. He's getting punchy. Yeah. Getting punchy. Like, like I said, night four going live. So yep. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. I'm still awake. Uh, this was a really cool piece. I thought this was a J. Scott Campbell piece from DC Direct. I think she looks really fun. Uh, well, it's it's McFar McFarlane. I thought that looked really pretty. What do you guys think? It's pretty cool. good. It, 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 I'm, I don't know how if it looks like J. Scott Campbell to me or not, but I I, I agree. I agree with you 100, percent Jeff. I would not have guessed that. Um, and I don't know if it's, I'm assuming it's based on something he did. I don't know what, but 
Um, they also had a uh, Alex Ross Joker. That looks cool. Which I thought was kind of fun. I like that. Yeah, that's cool right there. Yeah. So anyway, a couple new pieces if you're a McFarlane collector. Uh, this is the Joker from Queen. Life size. I. Ugh. Nope. No. Well, let's move on. Yeah. Yeah. In art collectibles, they teased a uh, new Bale Batman. Thought it looked pretty good. There's yep. Dan's art print right there. There's the print. That's the... That's the regular, I think. That's the regular, I think, is right. Yep. But, but see what I mean in terms of being able to frame yeah. around it? Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, it's going to be... It's going to look great. Yeah. Uh, this is a Soka Tano from Hot Toys. They had a new version of her. So if you are a fan of Rosario Dawson, a little different sculpt, a couple different portraits... I liked the uh, lightsaber effect. I thought that was cool. Yeah, I like when they do that. That's cool. But, man, the likeness. Look at that likeness. Yeah, that looks great. So good. So there was the original release right there. So I think I think they have improved upon it. Yeah. When you, when you look at the head sculpts, I think it looks much like more like Rosario in the newer version. Nothing hmm. beats the Sideshow PF. That's true. It's phenomenal. Uh, this is from Kinetics or, uh, yeah, correct. I don't know if I said the name right, but, uh, these are some characters and I don't know who these characters are, but these uh, are from yeah. Invincible. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. It's Captain Stash. Captain Stash. Stash. So does it look good? I don't know. I don't know the characters. Does yep. it look decent? Yep. They look very good. It's a fun piece. Yep. And then they had this guy also. That's Invincible. That's the lead. Okay. That's cool. Oh. Main dude, main dude. Um, and they had some other. I, and again, I don't know. I just I, these are all kind of just random photos from this past weekend uh, for some statues that I thought were cool looking. I don't know anything about them, but I think that was uh, Infinity. That this one. Nice. This is crazy good. This is that's, the one that Matt T picked up. That's really good. Yeah, it's phenomenal. That's, it's life size. Life size bust. Yes. Congratulations, Matt, if you're still watching. And we're back. And that's the end. Right. Thank God I'm starving. Yeah. I'm sorry. Right. It's about time for Jeff Delaney's dinner. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.